and welcome to the Ruby Tuesday. My name is Ruben and this is my ending explained for Eternals. There's two credit scenes. If you haven't seen the film, now's your time to disappear unless you love talking about end credit scenes and you don't mind things being uh, spoiled for you, then welcome. But if you're here to talk about end credit scenes or you want to know about it, this is the place. So let's jump in. So the first mid credit scene comes with our three characters that are on their spaceship in space, wondering where their uh, rest of their teammates have been taken. So we have Angelina Jolie, Thena, Makari and Druid, who have no idea where their fellow Eternals have disappeared to. So when they're talking, they're surprised by an arrival of two characters, Pip the Troll, voiced by Potten Aswald, and Star Fox, who's also known as Eros, who is the brother of Thanos. And this is where this this mid credit scene gets interesting because a lot of the time this character has worked with Guardians of the Galaxy and often Pip has been seen in the company of Adam Warlock, uh, which we know that Adam Warlock is going to be in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. So it's 10. It stands to reason that we'll see these characters probably crossing paths at some point. Hopefully there's a movie in the future where we have the next kind of celestial battle. It's no longer that phase. We're in the new phase. And so this is where those characters come into play. And so so we have the brother of Thanos, he has the little sphere and this is where he's basically saying, okay, I'm going to show you where they've gone. He's played by Harry Styles, which is what the internet was guessing and then a lot of people didn't, didn't like that. So that's the mid credit scene. But then we have the end credit scene, which is the one that I think is very exciting. So Kit Harrington plays Dane Whitman uh, and for the most part, we thought that there was more to do with him than just being the ordinary boyfriend, but we weren't teased with anything until right at the end. and then. We we got that oh, there's more to do with my family history and what's that to do with you hear a voice uh, when uh, Kit Harrington's character looks at the sword I believe it's the ebony blade which he's probably going to then be playing the black knight uh, according to the comic lore but that off voice character that says are you sure you're ready for that is actually blade confirmed by the director herself uh, so we have uh, the Blade film that was confirmed in 2019 and that is coming up I think the next couple of years and so obviously Kit Harrington's character is going to intersect with that storyline so Kit's going to be around for a while and when Eternals returns we're going to obviously have that relationship then picked up so I think that's a lot of fun let me know your thoughts of where you think it's going to go um, are they going to continue to follow the comics and but veer off and do their own thing um, and let me know whether you enjoyed the film check out our review it's going to be on our channel in a bit Thanks so much for watching, but most of all, until next time, remember, live long Tuesday.